What's going on everyone and now welcome to the Knightsman channel. What we got today is we've got the top 10 most anticipated games for 2020. Now this is a big big subject for me and I'm super excited to get through this list because um, yeah I can't wait to play all of these top 10 games and you know they're going to be coming out at different stages throughout the year so it's just going to top off this year I think uh, especially for this channel because you know we're going to be jamming some of those gameplay footages um, but yeah no no what what this is uh, this video is just to see um, my thoughts and reactions about uh, the different placings of all these games and where I think they fit uh, on their top 10 scale so if you enjoy these sort of videos make sure you stick all the way through smash that like button hit the subscribe button and bell notification just so you can see uh, if there's any other videos you might like on this channel um, but apart from that I think we're gonna crack straight in with our first game now for the top 10 spot um, coming across is Marvel Avengers now it's a huge huge platform um, of a game because obviously it's been built up uh, through the different movies uh, and, and through the different stories of all these superhero characters um, I've seen the trailer, I've seen some of the gameplay footage and yeah it's looking um, pretty good I mean who doesn't want to jam their favorite, uh, favorite Marvel character you know like jump him, be, be the Hulk, smash some dudes up or Iron Man or Thor whoever you want to be, Black Widow, whatever um, we have seen those characters throughout the trailer so um, and I've seen a little bit of gameplay of Thor going hard with his hammer um, bringing down that lightning and it doesn't look too too bad at all I think it's a good little um, you know, stage of a game, you know, it's, it's going to be in different stages where uh, if they carry on with a second or third, um, then that might bump up the audience, but for me, it looks like a fun game, it doesn't look like it's, it doesn't blow me away though, um, but it looks like something I can get in and just have fun um, just progressing through the story, so that's why I've given it at that top 10 spot, and I think it's a good little starter for what we have coming up in this entire list, so that was number 10, now we're hitting on uh, with number 9, and that goes to um, a PlayStation 5 game, which has been confirmed, um, Outriders, now it is coming on the uh, current gen consoles as well which is good um, but for me I'm looking forward to the PS5 game um, so I'm hoping that it's going to do quite well to kind of kick off uh, that next generation gaming um, I mean I looked at the trailer it doesn't again look too like mind blowing um, as I, I would have hoped for um, in regards to it being you know the next gen kind of game but it does look interesting enough and it does hold um, a little bit of you know excitement going in on it because uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good shooter it looks it looks all good um, and it looks like some of the stuff that they're, they're playing around with um, you know it can be quite entertaining I think so I think that's a solid spot um, definitely want to see how it kind of ranks throughout the year uh, when it pops out but I'm hoping that it's it's a game that's going to hold my interest and I, and I think it will the trailer you know I did enjoy it so um, I'm hoping big things especially from a PlayStation 5 point of view I'm a huge fan and I sort of see where it goes from there so that's currently um, hitting at the number 9 spot um, so yeah I think that's alright Alright, now we get into the number 8 spot. Um, for this number 8 spot, we have um, Hellblade 2. Now, the cinematic trailer was absolutely mind-blowing. Um, I absolutely loved it. Uh, but again, I want to see how um, they've changed the game from the first one. Um, obviously, there were a couple of issues in, in that that people brought up for the first one. Um, let's see what they took on board and what changes they've made um, going into the second uh, game so you know I'm hoping good thing to the yeah, I absolutely love the trailer um, definitely got me sitting on the edge of my seat and when you have a trailer like that um, you know you're asking for good things um, also that soundtrack just it got me fired up made me want to go into battle with them I tell you uh, but I think that's not too bad of a bad spot um, I'm holding my breath again for that game um, and we'll see what what expectations it meets but uh, I think that's a solid top three um, to start off with anyway now we're heading on to the seventh spot which is uh, Skull and Bones now this is a very 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 um, hyped game for me because I've been asking for uh, like a, a sea worthy Assassin's Creed sort of style game um, because I remember playing Black Flag uh, which I rate quite up there in terms of the gaming because I absolutely love uh, the dynamic of, of how they've done um, 
the the sort of stuff of all the ship building and, and, and you know the battles at sea and now you know a lot of people were asking for a standalone game um, in that sort of sort of realm and, and that's what exactly what they did with the skull and bones um, and it looks I mean it looks it looks all good um, but I want to see how they execute some of the different things um, because you know I feel like it could um, get very repetitive uh, which is could be an issue um, like all you'd be doing is fighting boarding ships doing this um, what I want them to do is keep everything fresh um, like interesting you know not just the same sort of ships you're boarding just different ships um, even if you're playing people online that sort of stuff um, that will keep it interesting being able to to um, really upgrade your ship the way you want to do it and just keep you know having to repair it or go to port if you go on a big battle like that sort of I think that'll be more interesting if you know what I mean like you know you just finish this huge battle um, and you might have lost and you're limping back to to the port and then obviously some of your suppliers might have been lost and you need to build it back up um, I do want them to have a solid story with it I think um, for Skull and Bones just to progress the game I think uh, but that will definitely I guess keep me engaged and interested just doing all these different things around this this seaworthy uh, map of different islands and whatnot and I just want it to be fresh and you know innovating you know so a game that obviously is, is something different that, that is not already out there at the moment um, but I have heard rumours that it is delayed um, looking at things but we'll, we'll see where it goes I still want it to come out I'd rather the game be delayed um, and polished than a game that's rushed out there and has a lot of glitches so um, you know I've got the fingers crossed um, for um, Skull and Bones uh, because I think it's going to be an awesome game and it's a game that I've wanted ever since Black Flags came out so that was quite long ago um, so I've got my high expectations for it alrighty Heading into the number six spot, we have is a uh, Watchdog Legion. Now, um, I've played all the Watchdogs uh, up until this point, and um, I know some people thought it was kind of repetitive through the games, but I definitely enjoyed it. I, um, I definitely got all the platinums throughout the games, uh, which I found to be, you know, rewarding. Um, I like a good, not an easy platinum, but a, a platinum where um, kind of makes you do all these different things and you, you know you get that satisfaction of, of getting that platinum and, and that's what I had um, getting these watchdog uh, trophies but I have enjoyed the series so far and looking at the trailer um, of uh, the new one coming out set in London it looks very interesting it looks like they've taken it down a different route um, and you know and that's refreshing you can play all these different characters and and you know it's just a range of, of things that I think they've built um, onto this game from previous games and I think they've they've had the ability to do that because they've gone through the different titles in the Watch Dogs series and they've you know they've taken on um, I guess the comments from the people which you could give the people what they want you know so um, I think they've done that and I think think they've, they're, they're steering it in the right direction in my opinion uh, it looks interesting it definitely got me intrigued um, in terms of you know just the different way they're going about it so it looks good too you can't complain and and I've always liked the the dynamic of of being able to hack different stuff and it came in with a different approach um, than what some of the other games have been doing but again, it feels like this franchise is like a game coming out every second year. What I think they need to do is just hone it back and um, really capture the audiences and, you know, make improvements or make changes in a positive way. You know, don't rush a title. Even if I have to wait another three or four years, as long as it's a, a big AA title um, that's going to, uh, you know, propel it fall or triple a title you know what i'm talking about so yeah now it's in a solid spot but i feel like um for that sixth spot it is due in that sixth spot because we've got uh, the next five games are absolutely brilliant in my opinion and it was very tough choosing where they where they sat in that uh top 10 tier but now we're cracking on with the top five spot now as i said it's extremely difficult um to place them but i, I feel like in my personal opinion i've got them where they should be um um, to do with myself so you know that's all you can ask for really uh, so in the top five spot we've got Ghost of Tiroshima now 
ever since Tenchu, if you remember the game Tenchu, um, back in the day on PlayStation 1, that was an epic, epic game, I absolutely loved it, it really got me into the, the ninja sort of way, um, and, you know, and, and obviously Ghost of Tsushima is, is, is bordering along the, the samurai uh, sort of way, but it is very similar in those aspects, but the, the trailer looks absolutely stunning, the environment looks beautiful, um, you know, just the, the way things go in the game looks interesting as well, it is open world, um, but it just doesn't feel like those normal open world games, uh, if you know what I mean, uh, so a ref refreshing take on the open world scene, um, I know the story is going to be absolutely dope, uh, the environments are just going to blow me away, um, and I want to see you know, how that sword play develops, it looks pretty um, fluent in my opinion, and just the way you can do it, uh, so you know, it's, it's a pretty up there game in that number 5 spot um, definitely looking forward to it um, definitely will be getting it and uh, yeah I think I'm going to fully fully enjoy it because who doesn't love a bit of samurai um, and tag along with a bit of ninja stuff as well because there's been a pre previously you know um, those sort of games have done quite well and I think this game you know has a lot of hype around it um, especially if it's going into the the next gen the PS5 you know uh, the capability of what that that machine can do is probably going to be unreal and it's just going to blow people away uh, but yeah that's it for the number five spot so heading into the number four spot we have is Dying Light 2 now um I absolutely love the first game, um, couldn't get enough of it, just the way that parkour and, and zombie feel like, um, I remember the first time, if, if you can probably relate to this, when it turned night time, and then those zombies going crazy, you running for your life trying to get to a, a safe haven spot, um, and that's the sort of thing I love, you know, that got my heart pumping um, and it just got me on the edge of my seat where I was kind of, yeah, I was a little bit nervous, a little bit I guess scared if you could say um, when it came to night time and that's the sort of thing I, I like because it's that's it, as a consumer that's me you know putting my emotions out there I feel like it's tapping into that and when a game can do that you know um, there's lots of possibilities for that game um, and I thought the obviously the gameplay uh, for that was fluent as well I, I love that kind of parkour style running um, and the, the the story was quite good but moving on to this the number two title you know that it, feel, it feels like they've taken another step in the right direction um obviously your decisions in this second game is going to determine your path um and they said you can play this a hundred different times and it would be different every single time dependent on your choice and and, and you know the ending is going to be completely different as well which blows my mind um on the trail you can see all these different ways you can um kind of go to to get to that end state and you know your decision like affect, affects the world which is kind of cool you know I think that direction and and, and that sort of sort of way is a very positive uh, thing because you know that keeps things fresh you know you can jam it again you can even jam it third time you know and things are going to be different you know it's not just going to be the same style um, so yeah and I mean Dying Light is another platinum that we got which uh, was hard to get um, but it was worth it um, and I really enjoyed it, so, you know, uh, I'm very, very hyped on, on number two title, and it, it should be coming out uh, relatively soon, I think, again, off the top of the head, I think there was another one which was delayed, um, again, I got no qualms about that, I'd rather it be delayed and perfected um, than delayed and buggy, so, um, oof, I can't wait, I can't wait for those night times, I want to see um, what different weapons, what different, you know, communities, um, how the online sort is going to gonna mingle, you know, what changes they've made um, to keep that engagement. But from that first one, surely they have a little bit of fans out there that are going to buy this straight away, and I'm one of them, I can't wait, it's going to be absolutely great, um, and filling that uh, number 4 spot I think is pretty good. Um, now heading into that third spot we have is Beyond Good and Evil 2, um, now again looking at uh, the trailer, uh, it just blows me away, just how... Um, kind of, the cinematic trailer first of all, uh, was excellent, uh, you know, um, it was a good way to kind of buy into a story, and then the gameplay trailer, again, just looks smooth, um, looks like there's lots of depth in the environments, and the cities, and the planets, uh, and the, the solar system, having a, a cool air ship, um, different characters that you can choose, I know that the, the team behind the game have, have done an extraordinary job in trying to capture what 
people want or what the fans want um, in regards to these games. So, you know, I think it's going to be an excellent title and I think um, I'm definitely going to get it day one and, and, and pump it along. Um, I'll be interested to see what the trophy side is like. Again, you know, um, I don't like those trophies where it seems, you know, unattainable and it becomes like you need another person online to do this sometimes it can get a little bit tricky a little bit annoying um but you know you don't know that for any of these games uh really but it looks great um feels great the hype around it is great um so yeah again it's another title that's deserving to be in that um third spot in that top three um so yeah that's so far now heading on to the second spot we have uh the last of us part two now again um, i've done these trailer reactions for this um it looks stunning it looks uh when the first one came out i was absolutely blown away with how it just seemed to flow and like a you know it was a linear path um these games but it you could kind of venture you know around that linear mark if that makes sense um the feeling I got from it, I was just blown away. Um, I actually didn't really care too much about the trophies in this one. I was just so engaged in the story for the number one. Um, that kind of just blew me away and I I was stunned. And I think a lot of other people were stunned as well uh, when the first one came out because you didn't know too much about it and then when you actually played it, it was just unreal. And I think the second one is, you know, is going along the the hype train on this and and you know building uh, what they've done in the first one and carrying on that story but i think they've done it right um and i think you know that linear path this game is one of the best uh, in regards to that similar to god of war um you know just that linear path and just the environments are beautiful the story is rich the characters you connect with the characters uh, and those are a lot of things that i look for in games because i'm very story driven um, in terms of gameplay you know i love that sort of stuff and i know that this one's going to be huge um, i did watch uh, 7 to 12 minutes of gameplay and yeah it just looks exactly what i'm expecting it to 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 keep me on the edge of my toes uh, to enjoy the story and and just kind of go with it and just uh, ride the tidal wave of the last of us part two but i think it's deserving to be in the top two and it was a very hard choice um, not to put that one in number one spot um, but for the number one spot i think it's very deserving in um, how long they've had this game in production um so in the number one spot we have cyberpunk 2077 um again it's been in production for 10 uh, or 12 years um that's mind-blowing uh you know all these sort of things in the gaming world definitely changes over time and that's a lot of change from when they started but um looking towards the trailers um it's just so rich and what you can do um, and you know the the team behind it are exceptional um, the witcher 4 which is my favorite game so it's the same studio uh, and obviously this is it's huge you know it's it's in a city where it's very um, futuristic uh, I think that a lot of the things that you could do to your character is mind-blowing all the different changes all the different stories you can go um, just everything yeah it's, it's open world and it's just uh, it looks beautiful the environment looks stunning um, what they're doing with it is just it's out of this world I mean for that long of a game to be in development and then they're not releasing it until it's 100 percent perfect and uh, my hats off goes you know hats off to them because i think that's the way that um companies should go and i think they're going about the game the right way um definitely getting all that different input uh yeah i mean it's definitely going to be a game where i jam a lot and for a long period of time um, because i think the story is just i heard it's just uh, like unreal just hours upon hours of um gameplay which is good all looks refreshing doesn't look like it's gonna um you know get tiring at any stage and um, definitely having keanu reeves in there is um the brother to help you out i mean it look, it's epic you know you can't ask for much more um so that's for number one spot i think that's the most anticipated game for me is um that game there and the only big issue is do i um, wait for the playstation 5 or um, ps4 now again this game has been delayed 
Um, I think maybe to the end of the year when the PlayStation 5 comes out. I don't know if that's on purpose or, or whatnot. Um, but for me, if it's going to be coming out on that PlayStation 5 um, around that same time, I'm going to be getting it on the PS5. And again, I'm expecting it to be unreal because it'll be on the next gen. Uh, it'll just be mind-boggling, mind-blowing, um, which I think is the reason why I put it at that number one spot. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've talked a, a lot about um, all these different games, but throughout that whole top 10, um, I think they all are positioned in um, the very perfect place that I think they should be at. Um, and I want to hear what you uh, think about it, what you have, uh, or your top 10 most anticipated games. Um, link them down below, um, hit them through the comments, even if you just want to say your most anticipated one, the number one spot, if you think it should be Cyberpunk, or if it should be another one. Um, but again, these are all my views, these are all the Knightsman views, um, and it's going to be excellent playing all 10 of these games on the channel, as I said at the start. Uh, I think we're, you know, it's going to be a very rich year uh, for 2020, or well, actually not rich, I mean rich in gaming, but I'll be poor because obviously I'll be buying all these games. Um, but I think it's just going to be a year of um, having a game throughout the whole year, I, you know, I'm not going to be stuck on on never being able to pick a game because I've got so many games to choose from, and it's just, it's, if you're a gamer, you know, You've, it's it's going to be an excellent year in 2020, especially with the next gen coming out. Um, but if you've watched it this far, thank you very much for watching all the video. Uh, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button because, you know, this sort of content is what we like to put out there. We like to do reaction videos on movies, different game trailers, TV series, any entertainment stuff we like to react about or do a review on. So um, if you like that sort of stuff, yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button. Join the Knightsman family our little goal here for the end of the year is to get a hundred thousand get that silver play button that's our goal and i need your help to do that but make sure more importantly is to hit that bell notification because that's what what's that going to do it's going to let you know when um the next video uh that we pop out uh, i'll let you know when that comes out so you can watch them get our minutes up which in turn helps the channel out which is great but apart from that, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching it. Um, it's been a pleasure uh, putting across our top 10. And it's a solid top 10 in my opinion. Um, but definitely, I hand on heart reckon it's going to be a solid year gaming. And if you're into that, then that's us. That is us. Let's go. Let's have a great year gaming. But apart from that, thank you very much. And that is Nightsman out. Cha-ching. Mm.